Hi, you are watching the VSDC channel. In today's video, we will remind you about a basic yet important video effect – transitions. We will learn about the different types of transitions available in VSDC, how they work, and how to add them to your videos. Stay tuned until the end of the video, where as a bonus, we will show you how we made this video using VSDC. Without further ado, let's get started. To begin, we need to have two video files on the timeline. Let's add them. In order to create a transition, one file should be positioned higher than the other one on the timeline. Drag the second file one layer down, as illustrated on the screen. Next, we need to overlap these two files. There are two ways to do this. The first way is to do it manually. Simply hold and drag the lower file to overlap the upper file as much as you prefer. We recommend around one second. The second way is to use the Set Order with Offset feature. To do this, select both files and click on the Set Order with Offset button, which you can find just above the timeline. Set the offset value to minus 30 frames, which is equal to 1 second, and click OK. Both solutions will achieve the same result. You will see on the timeline that the lower video is shifted by 1 second to the left. We've completed all the preparation work, and now let's move on to creating a beautiful transition. Select the first video file and go to the Transitions feature. To find a transition that suits your preference, navigate to Editor, Video Effects, Transitions. For this tutorial, we have chosen the Paintbrush Transition effect. Once selected, a window will appear where you can choose where you want the transition effect to start. Since we want it to start at the end of the video, Select to the end of scene and click OK. Now that the effect is on the timeline, you can adjust its duration by extending it manually or setting the exact duration in the Properties window. Each transition effect has specific settings you can adjust according to your preferences or goals. For the paintbrush transition, we will adjust the following parameters. Stroke angle, starting corner, brush width and brush movement direction. Set the parameters as illustrated on the screen. Stroke angle 60 degrees, starting corner right top, brush width 20%, brush movement direction continuous. There is no limit to the number of simultaneous transition effects, so let's add another transition. Go to Editor, Video Effects, Transitions and select Fade FX. Place it one layer above the initial transition effect. In the Parameters window, change the type to Diagonal Line. By doing this, we've created a more complex transition. Additionally, you can also add a wipe transition with the side type, as illustrated on the screen. This effect will help smoothen the edges of the brush strokes. Take a look at the beautiful transition that we've created. In addition to transition effects, you can also create transitions through transparency. Let's explore this together. You can find these transitions in Editor, Video Effects, Transparency. Fade In and Fade Out are both transparency transition effects. The only difference is that Fade In starts with 0% transparency and gradually increases to 100%, while Fade Out starts with 100% transparency and gradually decreases to 0%. Remember that you can adjust any animation parameter by clicking on the three dots in the Transparency settings. You will enter the Curves window, where you can manually adjust the transparency curve or choose a template that best fits your needs. For this tutorial, let's select a sinusoid curve with a flicker effect. To make the transition smoother, adjust the sinusoid curves as illustrated on the screen. In addition to manually adjusting transition parameters, BSDC offers a variety of templates for transitions. You can find them in the View tab under the Templates button. 
Here you will find a collection of preset transitions. These templates provide pre-configured parameters for the same transitions. For example, if you want your video to move from the bottom to the top of the frame, open the Push Side folder in Templates, select the bottom to top preset, and drag it to the desired position on the timeline. And there you have it! The transition is now ready. We hope that you've learned something new or refreshed your knowledge about this tool. Thank you for sticking with us until this point. As promised, as a bonus, we will now show you how this entire video was edited using VSDC, highlighting the most interesting features and techniques available in the software. If we can do it, you can do it too. That's it for today. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel for more educational videos. Click the notification bell to get notified about the next tutorial. See you next time!